Here we are again at the beautiful Shargot, one of our best in Britain shoots, on a return visit in the middle of January, by kind invitation of my good friends Henrik and Christian, who travel to the UK every year for our wonderful game season. Thanks once again to Bet We Saw for two wonderful days. Thanks very much for a wonderful stay, Douglas. It's been Absolutely. fantastic. How good is the, the, the shooting fraternity to the to the pub life and the well, hotel yeah. life in this around these little parts? The shoot industry uh, in the winter season, the shoot season, is vital. If it wasn't for yeah. that, then the pub would certainly yeah. struggle in the winter. You know, we have a great local support, although we're only in a small village, as you say, yeah. um, and around X, more people are willing to travel to good pubs, but you need the yeah. the, uh, the the spend of the rooms over the winter to be able to justify the buildings. Well done, Dougie. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Lovely stay. Thank See you, you again soon, I hope. We've got a very nice display box that's been given to us by the <laughs> Scandinavians here today. Thank you, Christian, that you're going to draw from, so I hope you like alcohol. <laughs> You put your name on your page. <laughs> <laughs> all, all of them is mine. He, he, he scratched the one he likes. <laughs> Thank you. Can you read it now? No, no. Seven. Here we are at Chargat once again. Yep. And my best loader. David, <laughs> I've requested you specially because you did such a marvellous job last time. Thank you very much. I know your worldwide fame has brought you uh, 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 plenty of work <laughs> in. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's it spoiled it. Yeah, the stick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're always wanting you now for tips. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've got extra full and extra full in. Yeah. Uh, it's not a choke that I like to use, but after doing some pattern testing, I noticed that with the with a bigger pellet, it seemed to pattern tighter. Tighter. Yeah. The only the only time I saw it blow on the pattern was uh, when I when I went on a lighter pellet on number fives and sixes. Yeah. Because there's more pellets. I, yeah. Probably because of the 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 pattern's denser. I did notice that it did blow on oh, that. Yeah. So I thought, I'd not tried them in the field before, so I wanted to, while I was yeah. down at Shia, got on some testing birds. Yeah, give it a go. You know, to give it a go, yeah. you know, in yeah. the field really, rather yeah. than just on the pattern plate. Yeah. So it's a bit of an experiment today. And this, uh, I mean, this is an ideal drive. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, good loading again as well, mate. Yeah. Working hey. in what they call it? In, in tango. In tango. tango. <laughs> yes. Dancing in tango. Yeah.
is a man we'll need to win you this picture. Why? Very, very well. Very well, well I think I winged it a few. <laughs> I can see on live on camera now that on the last drive, uh, Johnny wasn't with me, but the cameraman was somewhere else, but we did get his ass kicked. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Obviously this, this drive at back of us is, a, is the famous Melanie's. I've shot this before. The last time we were at Chiagot, it's yeah. another fantastic drive. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but we are opposite Melanie's this time. Well, we redeemed ourselves oh, a little oh, bit. Yeah, yeah, without a doubt, mate. Without a doubt. <laughs> Very good. Lovely, thank you. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm well, look at this, Johnny. She ain't got her makeup on again, you see. She's mourning again. I'm not talking yeah. Again. I only want a little bit of history. I just want to know how long you've been training dogs. Eight years. Eight years. Well, no, I did have one yeah. long time ago, but these, yeah. these are. Yeah. He's yeah. And is it is it your own breed as well? Have you? Yes. Yeah. yeah your so, own line. Yeah. Yeah. Because that seems a bit racy. This one. It's not crossed with the ground, is it? No. He's, he's, <laughs> he's a purebred Labrador. So Brilliant. she's mum. Yeah. And and the other two are yeah. pups. I must say it's it's lovely to see more and more ladies in the in the field trialing. Yeah. World yeah. as well as the shooting world. No, it's brilliant to see, isn't it? Yeah, you yeah. enjoy it more. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Yeah. Do you do any trialing at all? No. Why not? Because <laughs> yeah. I'd rather be doing I this. Right, listen, I, I reckon the men will keep putting the women off trialing because they're frightened of them. <laughs> you know, one thing about women, the better the better shots than men, oh, and uh, <laughs> the better off the better than men at handling dogs as well. You know, they've been handling dogs for years. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> Well done, girls. Anyway, you've done a smart job today. Lovely. This morning, I'm in the Danish clamp. I'm in, I'm in a vice, what's called a, a heart spot and a rock. <laughs> but we'll try our best for the UK. <laughs> look forward. Let battle commence, my friend. Let's rumble. <laughs> well, let's, rumble. <laughs> let's roll. Morning, David. Morning, Dave. Nice to see you again. Morning again, back, mate. back for our second day. <coughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, very and good. Back yeah. at uh, one of my favourite drives down there. Well, it is the favourite drive yeah. Yeah. for good me. Good drive. It's at Lord's. It's a weird and wonderful drive where it works. Yes. You get a lot of birds this way first. This, and yeah, then, a lot of them curl back. Then the switch going yeah. around, the, around the guns. Yeah. Good high birds. Good crossers, good high birds. Yeah.
pleasure to see you in action with that 20. Oh, you put it to some very good use there. Shot some really high birds there. Thank you, Dave. What cartridge were you using? I'm using Game Ball, yeah. Light Gold. Is it the 32 gram three and a half or fours? Four, four and a half. Four and a half. Yeah, they really, they really kill them up front. Though. They kill them very well. But that's down to the operator as well. Well <laughs> yeah. shot, buddy. Thank well you. Shot. <laughs> oh, you're a very ex one of the most experienced keepers in country. When when you were looking at, at at an estate and and developing new drives, obviously you'll have seen birds that are flying in uh, certain positions and heading for certain parts of the of the um, of the estate. Is that how you sort of plan a drive, or think well, I'll make a drive out of that? They seem to be going better that way. You have to kind of view it from their vision rather than anybody else's. A lot of people sort of open up the drive they try to get birds from. Yeah. And quite often you need to look at where the birds are flying to. Yeah. They need to be able to land. Yeah. That's why people struggle with the yeah. black conifers behind yeah. drives. And yeah. Know, and birds tend to split on them. It's, yeah. They can't get in. Yeah. They need landing yeah. spots. It's a massive industry, very yeah. popular. Um, I'm glad you've said it's an industry. You know, it, I'm, you know, it, we've got. I'm glad that uh, finally somebody has actually said, apart from myself, that it is an industry. It's and, a huge, isn't it? Like, yeah. especially in uh, the West Country. Well, Exmoor in particular, it's probably the biggest industry in the West Country. Well, where would any revenue come from, from other than shooting? Uh, where would any other revenue all come from? The townships would be pretty quiet if it wasn't for shooting. Of course, awesome. in the old days it was hunting. It's a very famous hunting part of the it world. It is, yeah. Uh, the Quantox is not far off here, is it? No, Quantox yeah. out there, and Devon and Somerset Staghounds, and numerous other yeah. fox and packs that drew people from all over the world until shooting became commercialised to the point that uh, the man in the street could buy a day's shooting. So yeah, yeah. It is a. Um, it's a big industry here. It's a big industry in uh, parts of Wales, and and in and, and in your hometown. Yeah. It was very well put the other day. as talking to a grouse shooter, and uh, the keeper had been uh, quite cross that one gentleman hadn't shot at the birds for whatever reason. Maybe he didn't think they were good enough or whatever. Yeah. And the keeper said, you know, this is my this is my harvest. Yeah. And. Uh, it's a nice way to put it. There's a lot of work goes into it. These guys um, to produce the grouse, especially yeah. a, a wild bird, and, and protecting it, and, yeah. and and all the birds that flourish around that. Yeah, do yeah, you're right. Uh, yeah, yeah. Birds that are fast going to become extinct if something isn't done about it. And you're rightly so. You put it in a. In the, they put it in one word: harvest, and it's a surplus because the. Of course, grouse moors uh, uh, this year haven't uh, they haven't done so well, and they've just shut the gates and said we we've got we've got a, a, sustain, a sustainable amount of grouse to uh, breeding stock, and we ain't, we ain't, we are not going to shoot that breeding stock. We're going to leave it, and they've lost millions of pounds. Millions. You know, millions. they've just local, in, local yeah. industries have, yeah. have really suffered on the back of it. Yeah. Yeah. But they'll they'll keep going, and you know it's hats off to the, the landowners of all these yeah, estates. The yeah. money that they put in to, to keep all it, the, to keep it all yeah. going is they've stumped is up, aren't they? Yeah, they've yeah. stumped up and swallowed the bitter pill, you mm -hmm. know. So there's yeah. enough harvest for next year's season. I mean, entertainment again. I love coming and talking to you because you're full of knowledge, and it's nice to, let, nice, nice to let the viewers <laughs> know that uh, you know in the countryside we've got chaps like yourself who's Fully behind protecting uh, any any kind of endangered species, and also has to get his living out of it as well, which is fantastic. Well, we're very long, may, long may continue, mate. Incredibly yeah. lucky to be in a yeah. position to do so, and uh, as are many others, you know, some fantastic guys out there. Really are some fantastic shoots, and it is a, it's an amazing industry, and you're now back at. Fat Hen, where you've been before. Fat Hen, lovely drive, yeah, fantastic drive.
Well done there, buddy. You've shot some nice birds there. Thank you very much. Right, is that, uh, are, we, are we even Stevens now? Denmark versus the UK? Are we, is it, are, we, are we drawing? Are we still drawing? Are you in front? No, 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 no. <laughs> I will always be behind this one. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic day. Fantastic. I, yeah. I agree with you. Yeah, brilliant, mate. And fantastic two days. Yeah. They've been very good. Yeah. yeah. And I just want to ask you about this this vest because this is a, a heated jilly. Exactly. Yeah. Never seen anything like this in the UK. It must be cold where you come from. It, quite, it can be cold in Denmark, yeah. but it's nice to wear. It is yeah. wind and shower proof. Yeah. And same time it's heated and you can yeah. adjust the temperature. You have two, yeah. three different temperature zones. So how, who makes these and uh, The company name is uh, Nordic Heat. Nordic Heat, yeah. yes. They have the vest. And, and you just they, press this button here and... Then the, yeah, and, and that's... And middle, yeah. middle. And, on, and low temperature. So you've got, you've got three different heats. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Christian, yeah. a pleasure shooting with you. Yeah. I've, I've been trapped between these two gentlemen today. <laughs> I've been like a little mouse with two li a lion on either side. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what shooting's all about. It's been a brilliant two days, and thanks to Shiagot for putting such a day on. Yeah. And these lads travel many, many, many miles to get to uh, to come and shoot in the UK. And uh, one thing's for sure, you'll be coming back year in year out because it's such a good place to come to. The, the UK is brilliant for game shooting. It is. You know. Well done, boys. Lovely. Okay. Thank you. This is this is the uh, what uh, bet we saw provided at the end of the shoot day. It's a, a sample of the day. Very healthy meat. This is what we got here: pheasant. So we got pheasant marinated yeah. in garlic and herb. Yeah. Nice and simple. Yeah. 
you know, you, anybody can cook that yeah. when they get home. It's another fantastic thing about shooting is that we get to eat our goods. So it's brilliant, that. Fantastic, Dan. Lovely. Well, well done, enjoy. mate. Enjoy. Lovely. Thank you. Okay. Great, we've had a great two days, yeah, we have. and it's been a fantastic team. I'd yeah. like to give all the all the people at uh, Betwish Hall Estates a nice round of applause. I think yeah. everyone, they've done, done lovely for us. Beautiful.